What's up guys, before we get into today's video, Tim and I are gonna be at SEMA all week and I thought I'd give you guys a quick recap of what our SEMA week looks like because if you guys are here, we're having a couple events that are gonna be really awesome and I have two cars here. So, starting out, we have the R33 at the Meguiar's booth, which is gonna be really awesome. So if you guys wanna come check out the Midnight Purple R33, it's gonna be here. Also, we have the R35 in Central Hall, which is directly straight ahead of us over there. That is actually at the Rays and Mac and Industry booth. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, those are both the cars that are gonna be at SEMA this week. Also, I'm doing a couple of meet and greets and Q and A's. So first off, on Wednesday at 2 p.m., I'm doing a meet and greet at Meguiar's. Come there, do a meet and greet, do signings and stuff like that. Also, on Thursday at 11 a.m., I'm doing a Q and A with Valvoline at their booth in Central Hall as well. So everything's pretty close. So like I said, if you guys have the opportunity to come to SEMA, you can see the R33 and the R35 and come stop by the Q and A's and meet and greets. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I just wanted to give you guys an update. All right, let's hop into today's video. My name's Dustin Williams and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far, and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. Gonna be an early one, but it's gonna be a good one. Invasive Voltex R35. Sick. Well, guys, we have officially made it. I don't know if you guys can see it. We've officially made it to SEMA. I am so excited. So, we have the R35 and the R33, but only the R33 is going to be at Meguiar's. We're still waiting for a roll in time for the 35. But um, I don't think I showed you guys this yet, but we had to take the old front lip off of the R33 because it started cracking really bad. And we have a brand new OEM late model R33 lip, which is gonna be really, really nice. We're gonna be installing that real fast and then 
parking her up for Meguiar's. But we finally made it, baby. The seal week is just now starting. Oh, jeez. Don't <laughs> cry. Front lip is on. Let's see her on the ground. Timbro, it's official. Check it out. We did it. Five hour road trip down. We are in SEMA now. I'm so excited. So I probably said this 800 times, but it's just because I'm so excited. The R33 is gonna be parked at the Meguiar's tent outside right here. And then the R35 is literally right in Central Hall, directly straight across uh, at the Yokohama Wheels booth. It's gonna be exciting. So we can't actually drive the GTR in yet because they're still setting up the display. But either way, I'm very, very excited. Both cars made it. They look absolutely phenomenal. This is legitimately a, a, a dream come true. Never in a million years. Tim, you remember us in your garage seven, five, seven years ago? Yeah, like squeezing around all of my stuff. Never in a million years would I have imagined that we'd be at SEMA with my own cars. Much less two GTRs. Like two this GTRs. is an absolute dream, guys. You guys know how much I love GTRs and it's, it's my favorite car. And like it just means so much to me that I have two of my favorite cars here at probably the biggest event in the automotive industry. It, it really is. It's it's really, really crazy, guys. So we're gonna settle in, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do, and I'll update you, I'll update you guys when we figure it out. Now that the 33 is parked and good to go at Meguiar's, it's time to hopefully try and load the 35. I don't know what the deal is with the with the uh, setup situation in there. I'm hoping that we can actually go in this time and not be sitting for an hour or so. The car looks so good. I know this lens doesn't can't reach that far, but the car looks so good over there. done setting up yet so hopefully I can just park my car right here and turn it off you know so uh, we made it in this is so cool dude I've never ever done this in my life I've only been here when everything's already all set up so if I drive my own car in here this is it's like a surreal moment this is cool. So far. I don't think you guys understand how big of a deal this is to me like I don't even have words right now okay like you guys know how long I've used raised wheels, Advan racing wheels, you know, whatever you guys know how long I've used this um, you've seen the raised booth in my videos for years and years since becoming a SEMA the raised and Yokohama wheel booth in Japan at Tokyo Auto Salon two years in a row to have my own car at a Mackin and raised booth like this is awesome, and I'm just, I'm really proud. I'm, I'm very, very proud.
All right guys, the GTR is tucked away, so this is how it's gonna stay just for now. As you guys can see, they're still setting up the, uh, the booth here. So when we come see it tomorrow or maybe Tuesday, whenever it's fully finished, um, you guys will get to see it, see how the booth is all set up. And we're gonna be here with this awesome Varus Supra as well. So Varus GTR and a Varus Supra at the, uh, the Yokama Wheels booth. It's gonna be sick. It should be sitting like this. Yeah, it, that's what they said. yeah, it's gonna be really, really cool. Like really good lighting, all the wheels. It's dope. So now we're gonna go get Tim's pass, and we're gonna go pick up our trailer and hopefully check into our Airbnb. I don't know, but this is really exciting. It feels very nice to be completely set up for SEMA already. So the show doesn't start till Tuesday, and it's currently Sunday. So we really can just hang out and kind of enjoy all the cars before the insane crowd comes by. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite little locations here that are gonna be really cool for SEMA. And one of them is the Pit and Paddock booth that's right in front of Central Hall. If you guys remember Sam from Super Street, he actually uh, owns Pit and Paddock here. And he has a really, really awesome booth for this year. GTR, even a white F40 in the back. That is so cool. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome spot for the actual show. Of course, we had to stop by and see the Midnight Purple R34 GTR on the OG T37. where we say goodbye for day one of SEMA. The R33 is all loaded in to the outdoor Meguiar's display. It looks so cool right here, man. I am so happy. Uh, of course, massive, massive thank you to Meguiar's for helping support us on this build and everything that they do for us. It's so cool to be able to display our car at SEMA at their booth. So just massive thank you to them. And I'm very excited to see it once the crowd comes in and SEMA is actually live. But yeah, we have both cars loaded in. R35 is inside, R33 is out here with Meguiar's. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome week. Are you ready to go check out the Airbnb? Let's go. <laughs> yep, I guess we're just gonna go for it. All right guys, day two of SEMA. Something that's super cool is our Airbnb here is actually within walking distance of the convention center. So we're actually able to walk there and we're gonna see how bad the walk actually is, convention center. And today all the booths and stuff should be set up so we can actually see the display with the 33 and the 35. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the Meguiar's booth. So this is pretty much how it's gonna be until uh, SEMA starts tomorrow. Today is Monday and the show officially starts on Tuesday. So this is pretty much how this display will be. I am so stoked for this to have everybody come and especially with the throttles, Fast and Furious car right next to us. It's gonna be so cool. So this is gonna be a really, really cool display outside. Um, now we're gonna go inside and check out the R35 and see how displayed all of that. Um, they usually have a really cool display with all of the wheels behind you and I don't know, it's super cool. So we're gonna make our way into Central Hall directly across. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the, R on the R33 for the day before SEMA. Let's go check out the R33. We have made it and it still feels like a dream that the car is here. So they have the booth fully set up. I wanna give you guys a quick little walk around here. They're not done setting up the cars yet because of course we're at the Yokohama wheels booth. They're gonna get the tires or they are gonna get the wheels perfectly aligned where uh, the advent of racing is straight all across. So they're gonna be lifting up the car as you guys can see here and completely rotating the wheels to make sure all of them are straight. It's like, this is a dream and I, I am so grateful for this experience. Like this is, this is awesome. She needs the Nismo hood. She does, we need aero. We need some aero on the car, but in this lighting, the Millennium Jade is just gleaming. It looks so freaking good, guys. Tim and I have literally just stood back here for, for so long, just like taking this experience in at the Yokohama wheel and Ray's booth. This is, this is so cool, guys.
So of course we couldn't come to SEMA and not have the 400R here, Brian. So Brian's front and center. Brian was able to get this displayed front and center right when you walk into Central Hall mm -hmm. at the SEMA booth. Yeah. So, this is awesome. Uh, Mike Spagnola from SEMA was looking for a JDM car to put here and what could be cooler than a 400R. <laughs> uh, so here it is. That's uh, crazy that they wanted to put a JDM car at the SEMA booth. Do you yeah. know why? So uh, Mike actually really likes Japanese cars. Oh, and nice. And so do his kids. So. Um, they definitely made the right choice with the 400R. Right, and I think it also helps relate with a uh, younger generation because a lot of, um, you know, SEMA historically has been a lot of muscle cars yeah. and like, dudes are getting older, but there's also a new wave of people that eventually has to come in, people like us, um, and you know, people like you displaying your car here aren't displaying like Camaros and stuff, you're displaying JDM stuff, so people come to see you and they want to see their stuff like this. That is awesome. So it's really good to see this front and center at SEMA. That's just always incredible. I'm so happy. That's cool. Dude. And congratulations on all of the cars you have. Dude, GTR takeover at SEMA so this year. This dude. is awesome, man. Bring it back. <laughs> like, we should make this like Auto Salon like 2002. Yes. <laughs> GTRs everywhere. Booth is done, the car looks amazing. Let's give you guys a little tour of the Yokohama and Ray's booth here. It's really sick, like I, like I told you guys a little bit earlier, um, they have the display of wheels back here, which I just think is so sick. So let's find our actual spec wheel here. Here's our wheel right here. It actually looks really good in this red color, but they have the full display of all their Yokohama and Advan racing wheels here. I just think like, this is the coolest part, dude. I love wheels, and you guys know these are absolutely my favorite brand of wheels. So to be able to have the car at this booth, it's just, I couldn't imagine anything cooler. Like, I'm just so happy. But yeah, this is sick. Quick little tour of the, Yo of the Yokohama and Advan booth here. Hi, future Dutt. Can't wait for you to see this when you're recording. <laughs> or when you're uh, editing, and uh, I hope you smile because you love my face. <laughs> it's been quite a while since the last clip. Um, we actually have a little dinner tonight. It's gonna be really fun. We're meeting up with Brian from Top Rank. I'm, I'm leaving these two guys alone. The two dads. The two dads get the alone time. Yeah, that's what we. Quick little Airbnb check. It's pretty sick in here. We got all our food and stuff that we need, and a little plug couch, and then. The room for me and Tiana once Tiana gets here, but I thought tonight I'd go ahead and take you guys along for our dinner. When you're at SEMA, oftentimes you do dinners and stuff with a lot of the sponsors and the companies that you work with, and tonight is gonna be a really, really exciting one. I figured I'd take you guys along, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and let's go meet up with Brian. Oh yeah, by the way, Ryan's here. Hi guys. He's staying the night tonight with us, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, Here's we're gonna- his, uh, Aristo. You guys saw his GTR in the last video, now we have his Aristo, pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, the dad's got to drop me off to school today. Son, do you have your lunch pack? <laughs> now, if that bully picks on you, you tell him that <laughs> you are a big boy now and that your dad said it's okay to punch him in the face. <laughs> Thanks, dad. You're welcome, wow. son. Now, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bye, see ya, Make pick, me up, pick me up after. Ryan, happy SEMA week, brother. Cheers. Cheers, man. <laughs> so we finally made it, oh, we're gonna cheers right here. We finally made it, so awesome. I told Mo's I'd take him along for a little, uh, a little SEMA spice. It's all about rubbing those elbows. Man. That's right, so this is, what, this is actually what it looks like. I wanted to take you guys for a little look, and yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. We have a dad sleepover. There's also there's also somebody definitely about to get into a fight out here. Yeah, someone's getting help. Someone. I, I don't want I don't want to peek out the window at the no, camera. Yeah, right that now. would suck. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, quick update, guys. Um, I am exhausted. If you guys have never been to SEMA, SEMA is literally the most exhausting thing ever, especially. Walking around all day, seeing all the awesome cars, but also like meeting so many different people. It's it's exhausting, but it's also really, really fun and really rewarding. So 
I'm excited. Tomorrow is the first official day of SEMA, which I'm super stoked for. They're gonna be revealing some cool stuff. I'm excited to go walk around and show you guys some of my favorite builds um, and favorite boots at the event. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, get ready for the next SEMA video and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, before we end, thank you guys for watching. It's Tim peeing in the bathroom <laughs> in case. Tim is absolutely peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> just a steady stream for just the vlog. A steady stream of just peeing. I love it. That's fantastic.